Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how to use rooms inside your Gmail to collaborate. Inside these rooms, you'll be able to create and share files with other members. You can have a threaded discussion amongst all the members in it, and you can even assign tasks in it. Let's get started on how to create these rooms inside your Gmail. So you do need the new Google chat uh, inside your Google account to make this work. And it is rolling out to everybody, but for some people, it might not be there yet. So what I mean, one quick way to check this, if I go up to my Google apps here, you can see this is the new uh, Google chat logo here. Uh, the icon, it's not Hangouts, it's this chat one that is going to be replacing Hangout. Now, I'm going to go ahead and create a room with this account. And the other account I have on my right is just to show you kind of the live time communication between the two different accounts. And the rooms are right here. So I, I'm going to go ahead and hit create or find a room. Uh, I don't have any other rooms to find. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a room to show you what you can do in this. So we we'll create a room and I'm just going to call this demo here today. Uh, use threaded reply. So what that means is uh, it's going to look like an email to conversation between the different people in the group. So I'm going to say yes on this and you can allow people outside the organization uh, to join if you want. I don't need that for this one. So I'm going to go ahead. I created my room. I don't have anybody in this room, so I'm going to add somebody uh, else to this. So right here, you can see add people and bots. And I'll talk about bots a little later. I'm going to click on add people and I'm just going to add a couple of demo accounts. I can see this person's on live uh, because this is the one beside me and I'll just add another account. So boom. And this person on the right, you can see gets a notification right here. I'm going to just expand this so it opens up uh, and they have demo over here. So in both places, it's demo. So I'm going to uh, just do a little communication through chatting so I can click new thread and demo. And I'm just going to say hello. And you can see it pops open here. And I'll just reply back here really quickly. And you can see it go back and forth and we can read the discussion. The other thing that we can do inside our uh, discussion with the chats, you can see where we can add the emojis. I can upload something from my computer and attach it in there. I could go right from Google Drive. So I could add a file from Google Drive right inside this. Now, if you do this, if I go and grab a, uh, just I'll grab this one right here and insert this. So if I go ahead and grab it, then I hit this little send message. It will ask me what are the permissions to share it since it's in my Google Drive. I have to give those permissions before I send it. And then you can see it comes over here and they can open it up here. Now I can also create brand new documents right in from here. So I could create a brand new Google Docs or I could create a brand new Google Slides and I'll just call this uh, demo here again and I can hit share and again uh, it creates it and you can see it pops over into the other account. So it makes it really easy to share files. Another thing I really like is you can start a Google Meet. So maybe you're chatting back and forth and you decide, hey, we need to talk right now uh, face to face. You can click on this and start a Google Meet right from here. In the, so you can be really quickly, uh, quickly adapt to the meeting if you need. Uh, and we can also schedule events through our Google Calendar here. So many different things right through the chat that you can do. Uh, the other things we're just looking at here, you can see uh, share a file. So I can click on here to share files and it will go right to my Google Drive uh, this way too. So uh, you'll notice that uh, the different ones that I've already created are right in here. But if I wanted to add a picture or something, it quickly adds. And again, hit send and then the sharing pops open for it to come over. Uh, the other thing I uh, like about this is assigning task. So I can go ahead and assign a task to somebody. I'll just go ahead and click add space task here. And I'm just going to call it this uh, demo again, demo test. And I'm going to give it a date or time. We'll say tomorrow. And I'm going to assign it to somebody and hit add. Now this person is going to get this task. You can see they have two new messages that they can click on to do the task. And when they're done it, they can 
signify it's completed and then it goes away on this side so it's a great way to be collaborating to make sure everything works well another great thing is all those files that i was uploading no matter if i created them in the chat or how i shared them goes into this common place for sharing files and i'm right inside I haven't left my gmail uh, here at all so it gives a great place to be working inside gmail here now i do want to point out all of this is connected to google chat just like i started uh, mentioning with if i go over to chat and open it up here you can see you can install the desktop app too but i'm not going to worry with showing that i do have a different uh, video explaining all about google chat and i'll put the link down below but i have demo here and this is all the same thing that's running here in chat that's running inside my gmail on the side here now i do want to talk about bots really quickly before we go here today and i'm just going to go ahead and uh, find a bot now, a bot can be a simple thing from uh, adding uh, GIFs inside here or even connecting updates to Google Drive. So if I just go uh, add to this room, what it enables me to do uh, in this one, I'll select demo and add it. And it's going to give me a place that now I can actually give uh, gifts back and forth inside this room. So it gives me a little bit of instructions on how you can do this. If I go ahead and then just put uh, forward slash and I'll put choose and I'm going to write funny here. You can see that it will come up with some suggestions. I'll just click this first one and hit send uh, here. I could write something on this too and hit send and it will go over to my demo. I better click back on this here and three new messages and you can see that the gift. So those are adding bots. Take a look at the different bots you can add. I just want to end it here today. Take a look if you want to leave. Go ahead. You could pin this if you do get lots of rooms. You could pin it up top. Here's your notifications and if you want to leave you can just go ahead and click leave and you'll leave that room or you can even block a room. So I hope you like this little tip on how to collaborate inside your Google, uh, sorry, inside Gmail really quickly with a room that allows you to do all these features. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.